Hey everyone and welcome back to the Acne channel. In today's video I am going to be talking to you all about derma rolling slash stamping and just a little bit about how I use it and how it has transformed my skin over the past year since previously suffering with really bad cystic acne. I am in oh, a massive dressing gown and fluffy little slippers because it's absolutely freezing outside. It's been snowing. I don't know how many of you live in the UK, but it is snowing outside. I just want to talk about derma rolling and just how it can have an impact and improve your skin. I know that it's something that a lot of people are skeptical about, like does it work? Does like are the results real? And honestly, I get asked so many questions. Do you use laser? Have you had, you know, like different treatments and stuff like that? And there's nothing wrong with having those sorts of treatments but the only treatment that I have tried like to get rid of the acne scars is doing the derma rolling and the stamping at home so I'll just start off by explaining the process the stamper I much prefer this one to the roller and that is because if you do have any active spots that do appear it is so much more efficient for you to stamp around those areas. I do find it easier with this one that you can just press it into the skin as opposed to rolling it um, because rolling it doesn't ensure that it gets sort of over each area whereas if you stamp it into the skin you know like it's going directly in that direction as opposed to rolling. As well with this new Vanish 2.0 it has 24 karat gold bristles. It also is more beneficial in stimulating that collagen and the collagen is what you need that is going to help rebuild and repair your skin. I am all about the collagen. It honestly makes such a massive difference. I actually already started using it a little bit off camera so that's why my face is already a little bit red i'm just gonna quickly show you you're gonna watch me stamping my face pretty much i do press hard because i want to make sure that the bristles are obviously going into my skin even though the skin does appear red after use so don't worry about that it is completely normal and um, it's not something to worry about and it does go down after the next day so yeah, I think because when you see videos and the face goes really red, obviously you presume that the procedure would be really painful. It does obviously depend on your skin's sensitivity as well. But my skin is fairly sensitive. But I'm absolutely fine. So as you can see, this is, this is honestly like the sod's law. I'm not even kidding. I've got a spot here. It's slightly faded. I've got one there. But I literally had none. I've had none for ages. And I've just been like... Oh, just embracing the fact that I've not had a breakout and then I get a breakout. But around that time of month or anything like that, I do get a pimple. Um, if I'm not as strict with my diet, I can get a pimple. I really don't worry about it as much anymore. Like I feel like I feel like when you've had cystic acne and you get a pimple, it's not the end of the world anymore. Like you will happily embrace that pimple because you know what it's like <laughs> to experience more than a pimple. So I wouldn't go over the same area more than three times. I'm just going to do my jawline because I did suffer really bad along my jawline. So here is the Banish Oil and as you can see the formula is very clear. So I just apply roughly five drops of that and because it's a serum I don't rub it into the skin. I just gently pat it and press it into the skin. The serum is one of 
the most important steps in your skincare routine, I definitely do suggest using a serum. The reason for that is because it's gonna penetrate deeper into deeper layers of your skin. And that is why the Banish Oil is perfect for after you have finished derma rolling because the vitamin C is gonna help stimulate that collagen production and that is what you need to repair and build the skin. I'm obsessed with collagen. I've also been taking collagen internally and I also take a high dosage of vitamin C. Um, it's a thousand mg and I find that that helps to like heal my skin from within as well. I like to try different remedies to heal the skin on the inside as well as the outside and zinc is also good for wound healing especially with my skin because my skin it just takes ages to heal i do go ahead for extra vitamin c and spray the vitamin c beauty alexa and that is just simply to cool my face down a little bit I'm just going to talk through the number one benefits of using Dermarolin at home. Number one is that it's going to stimulate that collagen and boost the production of collagen which is going to help repair and rebuild your skin. Another good thing about the Dermarolin is that it's obviously effective, the use of your own home, you don't have to go to a salon. It is suitable for all skin types, so whether you're dry, combination, oily, it is suitable for everybody. I would also recommend, if it's the first time derma rolling and you've never done it before, I only started off using it once a month um, and the reason for that is because my skin is sensitive, so I would just try a first session and see how your skin feels, but I would definitely leave it like three to four weeks if it's the first time using a derma roller. The good thing with the Banish 2.0 is that you can use it more quickly. So I could use this again in two weeks time. So that's always good. And another thing, after a derma rolling session, you don't want to apply any makeup to your face for at least 24 hours. And the reason for that is because obviously I'll just explain the process of what derma rolling is. It pinpricks tiny little holes into your face and this tricks the skin into healing more quickly than it would do normally. And then obviously when you apply the vitamin C serum on top, that works together, boosts the production of collagen and helps to rebuild and repair your skin. And the reason that you don't want to apply makeup the next day is because the makeup will get clogged up into the pores and this can actually cause a breakout. So I do recommend doing it on a day where you're not gonna be wearing makeup the next day. I like to do mine on say for instance, today it's a wednesday so tomorrow is thursday i'm not doing it well i go to work i go to gym i'm not gonna be wearing any face makeup at all you don't do a derma rolling or derma stamping session and then you see instant results it is something that takes time and obviously everybody is different so it depends on you and how quickly your body takes to heal mine take a little while longer like some people see results like so quickly and I think it depends on whether you get any breakouts in between. Like my skin was doing so well, I'd cleared my acne and yeah, I was on the right track and then a year in, I just started getting really bad breakouts again. So unfortunately that sent me back to square one of, you know, having active acne. I couldn't use the derma roller. Um, so obviously if you've got a stamper you can stamp around those areas but obviously if you've got active acne I don't recommend using this because if you was to go over an active spot the bacteria can spread so it's so important that you only do this 
on flat surface on your skin not over any active spots you will begin to see the results like it's just crazy how it works like i said pairing it with the banish oil really makes a difference and pretty much anything that contains vitamin c like i said i take a vitamin c supplement as well which is also going to help the body um, i also internally take collagen and that also just helps boost the production i do just find that that personally helps with my scarring and i also want to mention that this is not only suitable for use for scarring it has massively reduced my hyperpigmentation i used to have dark spots along my cheeks i know that i've still got them you can see how bad like my scarring and hyperpigmentation used to be compared to what it is now it is so much better it's probably taken like a year and a half for it to get to that point because i had the little clear skin and then breakouts the results can vary from person to person because we are all different and all of our bodies heals in different ways like more quickly than others and obviously we all respond to different treatments and things like that it also evens out the skin tone um, so if you have like redness in the skin or any discoloration into the skin it will help to even all of that out it also helps make the skin more firmer and it also increases the effectiveness of skincare and that is because now that you've obviously been putting these holes into your skin it allows your skincare to penetrate deeper into the deeper layers of your skin um so yeah um so you can see the difference that it's used on my skin and um if you want to have a look on panesh's instagram they post real people real results so that is what i love about vanish is that they're real customers with you know we've all got skin issues and we're all just trying to help each other out and i think that there is like such an amazing community online there are so many people just like sharing their struggles and stories and vulnerabilities and i think it's really nice that there's this like community where we can all help each other and support each other so yeah that's why i want to share as many things as i can that's helped me and um, because it might help somebody else that is also suffering at the same time i really hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any questions please let me know down below make sure to subscribe and let me know if there is anything else you want to see or want me to talk about or want me to cover whether it's acne or anything else i am you know. <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you again next time <laughs>